Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll show you how to play the cooling system on a Hyundai i wonder If we have a Hyundai uh, generation 2011-2016 with a 1.8 or 2.0 engine. So guys, we'll show you how to do that. Now, we're demonstrating how to bleed the cooling system on a 1.8 engine. So the 2.0, verify before you do that. Always check your manual, even if you have the same car like we do. Because some years and models might differ. This is your radiator cap, okay. The thermostat is located down there. It's not on the cylinder yet, so it's a little bit different than most of the cars. Now, we'll show you what it needs to be done so you can get that air out of it if you flush the coolant, uh, the cooling system, if you replace the radiator, thermostat or anything like that. So, let's start on it now. So, uh, what we usually do, we remove the upper radiator hose. Okay, I'll show you this one here. We'll remove the clamp. And we'll remove the holes. And we'll start filling the holes with coolant. So if it's stuck, okay, you might help it a little bit with a screwdriver. Try to take it out. Okay, once you're able to turn it, it will come off, but you need to just go ahead and take your time to pull it all the way out because it will be really really tight okay so you come up like that now we're going to put the funnel here on it hold it really good and we'll add coolant until we fill it up that way the coolant will go in the cylinder head because right now it's empty Always use gloves when you do that. Okay, so we'll fill it up until it's full. Okay, you can see it's full now. Okay, so now we can go ahead and remove the funnel. You have to be careful not to spill coolant. If you do clean it, especially in your garage, if you have pets, kids, because it's poisonous. Install it on the radiator feeling cap now. And we need to place the clamp on top of it now. Okay, perfect. You can see it just like that. Now, we need to open the cap here, the radiator cap, and we need to continue filling the whole system up until it's full. So we'll slowly do that until it's full and show you what to do next. I can kind of hear the air coming out as well. Okay, we'll get some more coolant and also uh, in the meantime, you need to add coolant in your overflow bottle. You can see the low and full mark right here. Ours is right in the middle, so it's good. We'll just fill it up all the way to full. So we'll just add until it reaches the full mark. Okay, right there. That's it. Now, we'll just add the rest in the radiator until it, uh, it's full all the way as well. Okay. You can see there is no uh, little bit of air coming out. So you see what else we need to do. Okay, if you squeeze the hoses, you might get a little bit more air out, but in our case, not much at all. Next, place the radiator cap, get it tight. And we're ready for the next step. 
So once you fill up the antifreeze and all that stuff, very important thing, start the car and you want to turn your heater all the way on high, okay, blowing, make sure that it's blowing all the way on high, on red, here. And you can see right now, the temperature is low, okay, but uh, that's fine. Now, you need to let the car idle, okay, and let it idle until the radiator fan turns on two, two three, four times maybe. Turn the car off, let it stay overnight, and check the coolant level again. Okay, you have to check the coolant level when the car is cold, the engine is cold. Otherwise, it's under pressure and it can spray coolant in you, which could burn you really, really bad. So, pretty much guys, that's the whole procedure, that's how we do it. Hopefully the video will be helpful to some of you. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.